Satan would rather that you define yourself by your sins instead of your divine potential. Don't listen to him. We have all seen a toddler learn to walk. He takes a small step and totters. He falls. Do we scold such an attempt? Of course not. What father would punish a toddler for stumbling? We encourage, we applaud, and we praise because with every small step, the child is becoming more like his parents. Now, compared to the perfection of God, we mortals are scarcely more than awkward, faltering toddlers. But our loving Heavenly Father wants us to become more like Him. That should be our eternal goal, too. God understands that we get there not in an instant, but by taking one step at a time. I do not believe in a God who would set up rules and commandments only to wait for us to fail so He could punish us. I believe in a Heavenly Father who is loving and caring and who rejoices in our every effort to stand tall and walk toward Him. Even when we stumble, He urges us not to be discouraged, never to give up or flee our allotted field of service, but to take courage, find our faith, and keep trying. Our Father in Heaven mentors His children and often sends unseen heavenly help to those who desire to follow the Savior. My dear friends, you are important. You are loved. You are needed. I pray that you will discover divine wind at your back, lifting you ever upward toward the great inheritance your Heavenly Father has reserved for you.